Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today is a really exciting one for me. Um, I was very kindly gifted uh, from Makeup by Lisa um, a stack of eyeshadows to trial, um, loose pigment and multi-chrome and a lippy. Um, this is the lippy and this is the multi-chrome but I will uh, show you how I did this look after the swatches. So, these were gifted to me, but there was no um, expectation of me creating a video on them all. Um, that's, I got excited and I wanted to. So, you are seeing all of them. Um, I will swatch firstly um, should we go in with those ones first because I have to spray the brush for these ones um, because they are loose pigments so this first one is loose pigment in the shade C spray um, I won't try and show you in here because uh, we'll end up with it everywhere and let's Spray the brush and see what happens here. So, ooh. that is pretty. Wow, that's a nice, uh, a nice colour there. I like that. Ooh, gonna have to try that one out soon. Very pretty. That's um, a little loose. I can't get the lid on now. Don't know. Um, loose pigment comes in a little pot, and uh, so that is that. And next is the multi-chrome um, pigment that I have on my eyes. Do I need to swatch it? Should we swatch it anyway? Because I love it. So this is the multi-chrome in the shade Fusion. It's much harder to blend out on your arm than on your eyes. I'm telling you because uh, I know this because I have it on my eyes now. And, uh, and so there we go. That is, I don't know how well you can see the shift. Try doing it here. Look at that. Stunning absolutely stunning so that's it for the loose pigments i won't put that on so tight this time <laughs> and now on to the eyeshadows so the first one i have is aurora and it is let's just open it because that's reflective this really pretty blue apparently with a pink shift so let's have a look well these feel creamier than the ones in the palette oh look at that wow that is a stunning color what do you think of that? That's so pretty. So that one's Aurora. And then next we have Spellbound, which is the one I've been the most excited about, obviously. It's green. So let's swatch Spellbound next. Oh, 
Wow. <laughs> Look at that. That is so pretty. I cannot wait to get that on my eyes. You can't see the shift on camera, I don't think. There's a really cool shift in this, like a, a blue to green shift. It's so pretty. And there might even be other colours in there as well. I see like purpley colour. I don't know if you can see better. Maybe if I had my ring light set up, which I still haven't, you would be able to see that better. But that is stunning. Absolutely stunning. And the next one up is called Charisma. And it's a really nice purpley colour. So, let, ooh, I'm already purple. Let's have a swatch and see what happens. Ooh. It's got like an orangey brown shift in it with a purple. Let's put a bit more on there. Look. Can you see that shift on the camera? It's got like an orangey brown shift to that pink purple. Oh, that is already purple. That's stunning. Absolutely stunning. I'm just wiping my finger off. And next up we have 90s Babe, which is a really nice kind of gold shift. Let's have a see what she looks like. This one feels really foiled. It's like, oh, look. Oh, wow. Jesus, that just goes on and on. <laughs> wow. <laughs> look at that. That. I could just keep going around my arm. <laughs> Look at this. Just keep going. Jesus. Yeah, you definitely don't need <laughs> much of that. And let's close that one up. And the last one that we have here is called Sea Spray. Um, I know the, uh, the loose pigment is also called Sea Spray. But this is a pressed pigment. And look at that blue well you can see it so let's have a swatch of this baby you ready oh not liking the hairs on my arm oops oh wow and another absolutely stunning colour. And so yeah, these are the ones that were sent to me. So we've got Sea Spray, that's the loose pigment. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Fusion, which I have on my eyes and you will shortly see. Um, I can't think. You'll see how I created this look in just a moment. So the next one we have here is Aurora. Beautiful. And then Spellbound, which I'm so excited to get on my eyes. That's so beautiful. And then Charisma, which is this really beautiful kind of orangey brown to really purple shift. And then 90s babe which uh, goes on and on and on absolutely amazing the formula in this one is absolutely stand out and then this one is sea spray also absolutely stunning color so yeah looking forward to uh trialing those out so yeah, thank you so much, Lisa, for sending them to me. Um, I'm really excited to try them all. And so, uh, yeah, as all of you that watch my videos, videos will know, um, I love these lashes. 
in the style Raven, absolutely love them. And this highlighter in Pearl, love them, absolutely love them. I do also have, if I can find where I have put her, I do also have the multi-chrome in the shade Blue Lagoon. Um, there is a video um, of me trying this out, so I will link that up here, if I remember. If I don't remember, then you'll have to scroll back through because my brain is mush with all the painkillers. But that is an absolutely stunning multi-chrome too. So now I will hand you on over to past me to uh, show you how I created this look. So uh, don't go anywhere. So my eyes are primed with the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer in Cream and I'm going to use the Beauty Bay Brights palette just because I know I love the formula of this and I'm first going to go into this black here um, Illicit, I think it's called um, and let's see if you can see that just going to do the Outline this is just really going to be to create the depth I want around the edge. It's a really good black, this actually. I like it, nice and easy to work with. Going in with the same brush, um, I am dipping into Drama Queen, which is this purple here. I'm just going to blend the black out with that. Um, just starting firstly with this um, smaller brush because it's more concentrated. And then I'll go in with a fluffier brush afterwards. Just bringing that under a little bit. So just taking a, a fluffier brush, I'm just going to blend out those edges a little bit. So they're not so harsh. And so now I'm going to go in with the Makeup by Lisa, the Multi-Chrome in Fusion. Let me just very carefully take this lid off. Um, oh, you will have already, you will have already seen the swatches at the beginning. I haven't done them yet, um, so I won't swatch it for you. I will just go ahead and spray the brush and dip in. I say just a bit, it picks up a lot. And then look at this. Look at that colour. I don't know how well you can see the shift on the camera. I won't find out till I hit it. I found that this is the best way to apply these pigments. Um, if you wet the brush with setting spray, 
before putting them on, look at that. How stunning is that shift? It is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I'm just going to quickly grab that purple from the Beauty Bay and just tap over the edge there. I might dip it between the black and the purple just to get the darker outer corner. I'm not even doing that so you can see. Yeah, I've dabbed between the black and the purple to create some more depth on the outer corner there. Oh, yep, loving that. So uh, I'm going to nip off and finish my face. And then I'll come back to show you what it looks like all done up. So don't go anywhere. Okay, so here is the final look. What do you think? Um, the lashes I went in with are from Makeup by Lisa also in the style Raven. And the highlighter is another Makeup by Lisa. It's the highlighter in the shade Pearl. And uh, I've got that on my cheekbones, my brow bone and the inner corner. I think it has gone beautifully, absolutely gorgeous. And the blush I went in with was this one by e.l.f. It's a brilliant mauve. And is that it? Oh, in my waterline, I've got the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in Snow Queen. The lipstick. I can't really swatch it, so this is it swatched. Um, this is Purple Berries, and this one is from Makeup by Lisa. Um, I do have it in a little tub um, just to trial it out. And uh, it's really moisturising, really comfortable. Um, it is slightly sheer, so if you're looking for mega opaque, um, this wouldn't necessarily be the one, but if you're using a purple lip liner and putting it on top of that that would uh, that would solve that so yeah you've obviously seen the swatches at the beginning um, I'm so impressed so impressed um, I can't wait to see where Makeup by Lisa goes um, I think she's got the potential to to really blow up so We'll see. Um, so that's it from me for today. If you are new around here, I hope you will consider sticking around and subscribing. And if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, um, like it, it really helps me out. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So for me today, uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.